Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you, Gwen, for inviting us to today's event. Um, we believe we are discovering and developing one of the top new high-grade uh, deposits district discoveries in the industry, and I'll share that with you today. <clears throat> so these are high-grade, multiple high-grade discoveries uh, near surface. Everything I'll talk to you about today is in the top 150 meters beginning at surface. These are 100% owned projects. These are targets that we've worked on for the last decade, doing work from satellite imagery down to methodical regional exploration over a tremendously large area to come up with this new discovery. I think it's unique in the industry today to see this long-term regional approach. And that's provided us with, as I said, a district scale discovery. We're a group from management through to the board that have been in Mongolia longer than anyone else in terms of the foreign investors in that country. I've been there for almost 20 years and you'll see that at the end of the presentation in terms of the board makeup as well. <coughs> so here we are in southwestern Mongolia on the left hand side. That's the edging terrain in that shaded pink and our projects uh, on the right are in that uh, long district in, in yellow. You'll see a, uh, a cluster to the north, that's our Alton Nar project area, and to the south is our Hundi uh, area license, which is cored by Bayan Hundi. Uh, a couple things on the left, you'll see a cluster of rails and mines and, and blacktop highways that are in that region. None of that existed when I arrived in Mongolia 20 years ago. In fact, most of that's been built in the last decade. So what was considered remote and infrastructurally challenged is no longer. We're 200 kilometers from three major coal mines feeding coal by three rail lines into the Chinese market. So there's labor, there's services. And one of the beauties about gold is that we're not looking to take out bulks. So that's important for us to bring in our plant and equipment and access labor. Um, so let me move on from there and focus in on Bayan Hyundai. This is what this region of the planet looks like. This is the least densely populated place on our planet, uh, so you don't have a whole lot of community issues here. Um, we walked out into this region two years ago and began to pick up more visible gold at surface than I've seen in my 25 years plus in the business. Um, at the top of Gold Hill, we're picking up grab samples that are up to 4,000 grams per ton. And stealing a little bit of my later thunder, we just drilled holes that hit 2,200 grams per ton over a meter in the midfield zone. So this is in a tremendously rich uh, district that sits at surface and geologists had never uh, walked across before. So here's a, the simple geology on the right. Uh, you have uh, windows into the Devonian volcanics in blue that are poking up through Gobi cover. Um, the image I just showed you is in the southern part, that blue area, and uh, we're looking over a 1.4 kilometer strike length. Since we discovered this in late 2015, we've drilled 38,000 meters, uh, about 230 holes. Almost 20% of those holes are hitting over an ounce per ton in intersections of a meter. And the other unique thing about this is recovery. This is an oxide type deposit, so recoveries are looking very simple. We'll see mid-90s recovery using uh, simple gravity and leach. <sighs> This is, um, so let me see if I can go back for a second. So this is looking along that 1.4 kilometer trend, but sort of tilting the geology in that direction. So this is the 0.3 uh, gram shell around those high grade zones in red. So you have a series of uh, southwest dipping quartz adularia veins that are very high grade, and they're bounded by a series of structures that you see faintly on the right hand side. And those structures are important back to Gwen's comment about uh, some of the things we've learned in the last couple of months. We're really keying in on these ultra high grade zones, which I'll show you in some sections now. So if you tr uh, train your eye to those three section lines on the left in striker midfield and north midfield, I'll walk through each of those sort of 200 meter long zones in section here in a moment. Before I do that, um, I don't want to get into too much detail here, but we've had one of the top structural experts in the industry come out in the third and fourth quarter. They've um, come up with the structural interpretation where effectively we're looking at uh, intersecting major feeder zones with what we call relay ramps and uh, where those locations of breach happen on the left and they're intersecting these high grade zones you're getting the right structural setting for the fluids to come in and come up along hanging walls uh, which would be the left hand side in this case. So these next series of images on the left you'll see the broader zones and on the right a close up of the high grade zones. So this is Stryker, and that's about a 250 meter down dip uh, extension. But you'll see on the right the types of grades we're seeing in the core of this. So coming right at surface, effectively in trenches, 93 grams per ton. You step down, 187 grams per ton, 79 grams per ton. Just repeatedly seeing these ounce, multi-ounce type intersections in an open pit. 
You know, you just don't see that anymore in the world because they're mined out as soon as somebody finds it. So this is just one of three. If we step now into the midfield zone, which is the next one up, um, this is about a 250 meter long cross section. We're coming right up against the hanging wall now. And again, if you cast your eye over those grades on the right, you'll see continuously half an ounce to three, four ounce intersections. And again, this is all haloed within a 0.3 gram disseminated ore body. So it's a bulk mineable, mineable deposit with grades in the core of this that are as good as any deep mine you'll find anywhere in the planet. Um, now, stepping into our least explored area, so we're out on the sort of northern tip of this. This is what we call north midfield. We only have a few holes in it. Um, our last hole in Q4 of 2017 is the hole at the southeastern, uh, or sort of the, the bottom of that sequence on the right, but you'll see up to 2,200 grams per ton. So very good continuity, 2,200 grams, 58 grams, 108 grams. And again, if you look at the left, you'll see that shell around it. And if I just flip through those three for a second. This is at surface. Um, this is within, sorry, did I? This is within 20 meters of surface and this is within 50 meters of surface. So this is a large open pit and you get the sense of this in this cross section where I brought them all together and you can see each of those zones, striker midfield, north midfield, and the broader zones, 30 meters of 6.8, 80 meters of six, um, 37 meters of 5.6, so continuously large mineralized zones over a 1.4 kilometer strike length. And uh, there is some cover to the right, but largely uh, all within an open pit. So what are we going to do this year? We're going to move into drilling off these ultra high grade zones. We have 5,400 meters of drilling that will start uh, the 1st of April. So we'll get those better defined. Um, we'll then sort of step around the edges and push the envelope on this system. Our target right now would be getting into the million ounce range, but the heart of this is probably half a million ounces in the four to five gram range in that striker midfield, north midfield area, which would put this in sort of top 10 grades for open pits globally. So it's a very exciting discovery but this is just the start of this district. When you look at where we're sitting on this license, this is the southern part of the license uh, where Bayanhundi sits. And we now have identified repeated structures over a six by three kilometer area. Only drilled one of them, and in that area called Altanero, we're starting to hit zones of up to 70 grams over two meters. Again, in the top 75 meters from surface and coming to surface. Many of these have grab samples in the 20 gram plus range. So this is just getting started. As I said earlier, geologists have never walked over this before. This is the first time any work's been done. So it's tremendously exciting for our team after this funneling down effectively of the whole country to get to this point in southwestern Mongolia. In addition to those discoveries, which I've just mentioned, Bayan Hundi and Alton Arrow, we'd already established a quarter million ounces at Alton Nar to the north. So this was our first discovery. Uh, we have uh, 122 holes here, 18 mineralized targets. And to give you a sense of what one of these looks like, the discovery zone, this is a half a, long, a, half a kilometer long cross section through that deposit. And you can see the intersections we're getting here, 20 meters of six, 20 meters of 11.8. And again, most of this within the top 100 meters and coming to surface. So when you look collectively at this district, which you'd expect to have a central processing facility for, you're getting into that million and a half ounce target range with just those two discoveries and not looking ahead into the upside, which is tremendous in the district. So as we speak, we're putting together the program for this year. We're working with uh, Rungi Pincock on revising the Alton Nara resource. We'll start that drilling at Bayan Hundi in Q2. So results will start probably late April and continue right through the field season. Um, as we get into the middle part of the year, we expect to do a revised resource estimate on Alton Nar and a maiden resource estimate on Bayan Hundi. We'll start to move those deposits into the de-risking pipeline, if you will, with permitting and uh, more advanced economic studies. And uh, we'll just continue to explore this district. I think we're looking at you know, a long, long time of continual discoveries. If you look at any district like this globally, you know, they'll be making discoveries here for decades. Um, we're ahead of the curve on the processing, permitting, and infrastructure. I won't get into detail, but when it does come time to do those permits and pre-feasibility, we've covered all the basis on any critical issues, uh, water exploration, um, environmental studies. We're doing a listing in Mongolia. If anybody wants to hear about that, you can come to our booth. 
Uh, long history in Mongolia for our board members. We have Canada's first ambassador to Mongolia, a number of people that have built mines and worked in that district for a long time. Uh, we have 146 million shares out, a uh, market cap of about 65 million Canadian today, uh, 2.5 million in cash, a strong shareholder register. And um, just to sum things up, in my last three seconds, we have that drill result uh, that starts in Q2 and will continue all year. Um, that Mongolian stock exchange listing will be important for a social license to operate perspective in Mongolia, Q3 resource estimates, and then just continuing to run out the year with, uh, with drilling. Thank you very much.